Martinez already has one. She got another. Oh! Martinez puts it over. And now the game is over. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another After 90. Mary Papadakis alongside Gareth Wheeler. It was a 3-2 win for Toronto FC against Atlanta Woo. United FC here at Beagle Field. <laughs> Woo is the actual reaction yeah. considering the start and the finish were absolutely crazy tonight. Gareth, let's start with the beginning to bus and don't record setting. It's, it's incredible the way the game was bookend. The quickest goal in Toronto FC history, just 29 seconds in. A young, uh, your first glance at the starting 11, rather experimental with so many players, six, seven regulars out of the lineup. And for Sebastian Endo to come into this team after really spending a lot of time on the sidelines watching this season, a big moment for him. But it was a great goal. One touch football. Jacob Schaffelberg, the 19 year old, just signed a contract last week, getting in behind the lines. It was a picture perfect goal and a way to start the night. So that will be unforgettable. But the ending, I'm not sure if we've seen a match end like that ever in the lifespan People of Toronto FC as well. People were celebrating at that point well, when the whistle went and then it was called back. There was two minutes of time added on and then Richie Larea earns a penalty. Alejandro Pozuelo scores the second goal from the penalty spot. He was so cool and calm. Three, two, you're like, here's the three points finally coming Toronto FC's way. And then another VAR decision. Incredible. In the last five games, Four VAR calls have gone against Toronto FC, giving the other team pa a, a penalty. This time it came out the arm of Nick De Leon. P.T. Martinez, it's a pity he missed, <laughs> went high. It's justice for me because I don't think that that ever should have been given a penalty, but a little bit of justice for Toronto FC. After the fireworks went off, after the final whistle, it was Bedlam, and honestly, if Martinez had scored, this place would have gone off for all the wrong reasons. That's not something you usually see in a game no. like this. I know you had asked uh, head coach Greg Vanny, is that something that's happened before? And he was like, I I don't know. I've We've, never seen it. never seen it, which is a little confusing. But Toronto FC did get the result right. at the end, so that is a positive. But looking back at the full 90 gear, we saw a lot of young guys today, especially with four key players missing due to Gold Cup and some injuries. Chris Mavinga was out tonight. So... How do you think Toronto FC came together, especially with those young guys like Liam Frazier, Jacob Schaffberg performed? The, the word that Vanny used post game was it was brave. Mm -hmm. It was courageous. And it was because it was a different looking team. Alejandro Pozuelo, for the first time in his professional career, played in a false nine. You played with Endo and Schaffelberg in wide areas. And you had Dillion and Marky Delgado making runs inside. And it worked. I thought Liam Fraser pulled the strings. I thought defensively in important moments it got stuck in. And look, when you go down 2-1, I think you need to dig deep and TFC stuck with it. They had three incredible goal scoring chances before they scored on the penalty in the 94th minute. It was Endo going off the bar. Pozuelo, Schaffelberg put it on a platter for him. He looked devastated Alejandro was that he missed an open header and Richie Larea just a heavy touch. He could have scored as well. So the fact that they stuck with it, they believed in their principles. Look, this game could have been 7-7, 6-6 on the night and TFC, the chances they created, I think it's really something to build around all right gareth what is gareth's game changer of the night uh man it's hard not to make that last penalty called the penalty missed by atlanta sure. united i'm gonna go in a different direction because down 2-1 it seemed like atlanta was getting into the match and the fact that alejandro pozuelo scored that goal it was incredible surface by jacob schaffelberg the first assist of his mls career just whipped that ball in all that pozuelo had to do was guide into the back of that 2-2 game is back on the belief came back within this team and they were able to punch on and for me they were the better team over the course of what 98 minutes yeah. <laughs> uh and maria who is maria Maria's man of the match. Maria's man of the match is Jekyll Schaffelberg. I thought he was absolutely incredible mm. tonight. And head coach Greg Benny, his word to describe his performance tonight was outstanding. He put so much pressure on the opposing defensive side and he got his first assist, first MLS start. And you just really saw the growth of this player from the preseason to now out there on the pitch tonight. And he just blended in so well. And I'm so happy for him. More on Jacob Schaffelberg in this week's TFC Insider. I actually recorded yesterday. So hopefully he comes out too. The stars aligned. And, um, should we give a secondary man of the match just to head coach Greg Vanny? Of course. The of 200th course. 
coach that he's managed over the course of his Toronto FC career. It must seem like 2000 after For that. Sure. I actually produced his <laughs> video that will be coming out on social and watching through all the footage and just compiling it together. It was it was incredible to see what he's been able to accomplish in 200 matches here with Toronto FC. And, and some luck going Toronto FC's way with the late penalty miss. Look, the eight game winless streak has come to an end and sometimes you need some luck to come your way and hey, TFC will take it here tonight on to DC this weekend. Well, like Gareth said, Toronto FC will be off to DC this coming weekend, but for everything Rooney, Toronto F <laughs> but for everything Toronto FC, keep it locked in on torontofc.ca. Thanks for watching, guys.